So in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a sprite. Uh, I have a canvas brought in. On that canvas, I use the image sprite. So we can see here, I brought my canvas in and my image sprite in. Uh, I've also used under sensors, I've set up a clock and I have a button in here that I've labeled left. I've uploaded three images, Mario 1, 2, and 3. It's important that you name them all the same and then have their files identified by a number. So no matter what your sprite is, start off with the same name and then the second, uh, then have a number starting at 1, 2, 3, the way we're going to program this. And you're going to see my image sprite I've set to the Mario 1 image. So I'm going to come over here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a procedure. Uh, I'm going to grab a variable and I'm going to call my variable sprite count. And what I'm going to do with my sprite count variable is that's what I'm going to use to change my uh, images. So my procedure I'm going to say is set my sprite count to getting my sprite count plus one. So I'm going to get my sprite count duplicate, and I'm going to go plus one. Now, I need to grab an if statement, and I want to say, because I only have three images, so if my sprite count equals three, which is my last of my images, I want to reset that sprite count to one. The reason I want to reset that sprite count back down to one is so I can start off at the original image, which you have to think of this as is a flipbook. So I'm starting at image one, now I'm going image two, image three to show motion. So I'm going to come here to my image sprite and I'm going to set my image sprites image. So my image sprite, uh, they call it picture. And I'm going to join, grab a join box, and I'm going to grab a, a text box. And I need another item in this string. A string is, again, a list item, part of a list. So I need three. And the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my beginning of my file name, which is Mario. Then I'm going to get my global count. And then I'm going to join that with .png. Now, this could be a JPEG or whatever, but it, what you're doing is you're creating that file name, as we can see here for the Mario. Uh, I have Mario, then whatever the sprite count image is, .png. So I'm, this has to be done exactly how you have the image created or laid out. If not, uh, you're not going to get anything. Uh, it's not going to be able to find those images. I'm going to use my clock now to call my procedure. So every time my clock ticks, I'm going to add one onto my uh, global variable. If I reach three, it comes back. And every time it clicks, I'm also going to change my image from Mario 1 to Mario 2 to Mario 3. So we can come over here and we can see. Now I can change the interval of my clock uh, to make this animation go quicker or slower. So again, this is just a general way to do animation with uh, a quick procedure and a clock. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to control that animation with uh, separate buttons instead of just relying solely on the clock.